the first thing you're asked to do is to sketch y equals radical x minus 1 over x minus 5. And this would be calculator OK. If you're not told to sketch it and you're asked things about it, sketch it anyway. It's the best way to really understand what's happening. So then if you're, if you're told to solve this, you're really saying, hey, when is y or f of x that's equal to this function we've just drawn over here from our graphing calculator? Again, make sure to try this on your own so you get the parentheses in the right place and can actually sketch one that looks like this. When is this greater than 0? Well, the function is greater than 0 or above the x-axis in this location. So our answer would be x is greater than 5. And my graph would tell me this is x equals 5, and this is x equals 1. But also I could just look and see what makes the numerator equal to 0, what makes the denominator equal to 0. That will tell us our zeros and our asymptotes. Similarly, when is y less than or equal to 0? Well, that would now be... all of this portion of the graph, and when it's right at 1, we're equal to 0. So we better report a final answer as when x is greater than or equal to 1, but less than 5, because we never get to 5. Find the domain and range. The domain and range then would be everything greater than or equal to 1, except the asymptote. So we would say x cannot equal 5. We could also write it like this, from 1 to 5, but not including 5, union from 5 to infinity. And the range is all real numbers, because we go up and down forever. And even though we have an asymptote here right at y equals 0, we do fill that in with that dot right there. So we have every y value possible taken. 